Romania will be free! Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bubini, and I hope you are ready for some more. Marco Mani Legendary, this is Total War Campaign. And when we last let off, we were being attacked by the Howling Wolves. Mind you, we can auto-resolve this and win a close victory. But, I think I can win it myself. Famous last words, but I think I can do it. So let's do it. Okay, they decided they now want to charge in. Spear Brothers, get over here. Right, these guys have landed. Celtic youths are moving up. What are they doing? They're positioning to throw Pila at my own guys. We're not doing that. That's a negative. That's a fucking push through by the AI. That is not cool. That is absolutely atrocious. Alright. That's cool. Totally not the AI just blitzkrieging through my dudes. Go ahead and cycle these guys out, because they will not win that fight. Let's go ahead and throw you in, scare them. Our general is under attack. Okay, those guys have died. Let's go this way. Get the Germanic youths up here. Get you guys over. Get some battle buddies in here. Get in there, boys. General getting absolutely ass blasted. We will the I like how I'm clicking on a unit to move, apparently, and it's not even what I'm actually clicking on. You guys, fire on those skirmishers. You, fire on the general. You, also fire on the general. General, get into the fight. Who the hell is wavering? Damn, Trisman, get the f out of the fight then. Oh, those guys just broke. Kill that general. Also, what the f is going on over here? Celtic youths really holding back Bloodsworn? They've killed 10 dudes. What is going on with this game, bro? Sometimes it's just a little bit ridiculous. Okay, we killed the general. They're shattering. So they got planned. They're gonna set. Ooh, they're coming for me. They're coming for me on the mainland. They want the smoke, dude. They want the smoke. That's cool. I got a. I got a dude that can just pop up right here, and replenish in one turn. We got two turns to replenish. Still makes it two turns. Where did I get fifteen grand from? What? 
Where? Why do I have so much money? Um. What? Did I have that much before? Dude, what? I'm genuinely confused. I have absolutely no idea how I have that much money right now. Where did I get 15 grand from? Unless I'm just tripping. Maybe I had that already. I gotta, I gotta rewatch the... I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's six Bloodsworn. That's gonna cost me 160. 160, 160. Uh, that's gonna be 320, 480. 480, about. Yeah, that's gonna be 480. For the tribe. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, I'm gonna put you back over here, Mr. Shippy Ship. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. I am ready. All right. Let's see, what are they recruiting over here? They got more spear wall. What was that one unit? Heading out. A rider of the hunt. I see, I see. Hmm, so this means they're actually gonna start recruiting decent units. We have to take Tolafertum 100% because they're gonna recruit some actual units. Uh, might be able to come back down here. So what I want to do is I wanna take this and maybe make a small garrison force, take that, take this, and then once I take this and that, this will be like where I defend and probably stem another army outward. Because I have to essentially defend as I attack. Right, so if I come over here and take this, the AI is going to be like, oh, well, instead of going to here, I'm just going to go and attack here. Or I'm going to go do this. Or, you know, they're not going to try and go around me. They're going to try and attack me, right? If I go this way and take Treva, they're going to try and go this way. To Tolafertum, so I gotta go to Varinium, and then I gotta come down here and take Kalincorum. But if I take Kalincorum, these guys are gonna come up and attack me. So I gotta go down here, and go this way, because they're gonna go around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you gotta keep you gotta keep this stuff in mind. Means I'm gonna need a small garrison here in Kalincorum as well. And then maybe once Tolafertum is taken, hmm. It's going to be hard, because we're going to be spread thin. We're going to be spread very, very thin. I need to just end the turn so I can get my replenishment up and make some actual moves. Might try and ambush somebody on the bridge. I do need to take care of that Arverni fleet, though. That's 100% got to die before we move out. Cherusi want the smoke with their shitty little army. Daughter comes of age. That's cool. Don't really care. Ready to sail. Um, okay. Yeah, they are 100. percent They're just staying in range of their fleet. Maybe, maybe I'll stay there one more turn. And actually, when this completes, if they stay right there, I'm just gonna attack them and do like a night battle. What is this? That's your shitty army. You know what? Ready Fuck you guys. I've had enough of these dumbass armies beating my ass and giving me unnecessary casualties, so fuck you. Get out of here. I would have actually killed them, though, but whatever. Hello. You die. Goodbye, good sir. Might have went a little too far, though. Because, uh, if I... Force march. Oh, they can't reach. Ah, oh, they can't reach. Ah, uh, fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't reach. Fuck you, bitch. If they reach me next turn, you know it's you know it's a cheating game. Uh, let's go ahead and get a regular farm going. I recruit some mercenaries. That's a really shitty mercenary. I want to get some more naval stuff going. Battle speed, ram damage, shots per minute. I don't necessarily need the level 4 farm at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and get this, because if we go warrior code, we can get 8%. In 7 turns, we can get 8% movement range. And then we can get a lot of upgrades for our boats. 
seems like the move. Let me fight. This guy sails back into range. I'm gonna attack him. Um, I could actually take this town from Gaul with that fleet. I did an auto resolve earlier. I actually would just sail down and sack, sack the region, and then I would come back and replenish. I was doing that a few times during our little uh, waiting period. Hopefully, uh, Belge Nervii there doesn't have an army that can just walk out and touch me. That ain't gonna be cool. That's gonna suck a lot. Cherusi recruiting another army. If they could sally that army out as well, that would be super dope. They've sailed back into range. Subject has gained something. Okay, we're good. Leader dies in battle is still negative 18. That is... Yeah, if another one of their generals dies in battle, we're kind of fucked. We're probably going to have a civil war. Uh, a woman in your family stands accused of witchcraft. Oh no, kill her. We don't have no witches in here. Radies over here now too. Eesh. Ready to sail. They're just out of range. I'm going to go ahead and sack this because I'm a cool dude. What's up, bro? I'm just here for the money. Thank you. Uh, get sacked. See you later. Actually, recruit units while I'm out here too. Oh, that's clutch. I know there's silver chevron boats, but I just want. I just want my replenished boats. We need a bigger fleet. We need a bigger fleet. Ooh, this upgraded. Okay, what's the problem here? We don't have a lot of food here. Public order is actually quite good. Only twenty. 7, or actually only minus 4 for Squalor, but we have 27 from Happiness Buildings. Um, maybe I will build one of these. Don't really know. Maybe a Potter's Workshop. 320 from Industry and 9% from All Commerce. Sounds pretty good. And it's only minus 8, so if I build that, it's minus 8. Uh, this maxed out is minus 6, so that's minus 14, and then this as well would be minus 8, so 14 minus 8, is that like 22? Negative 22, but I still have this to upgrade, it would give me another 2, that would give me another 2, this would give me another 2, that would give me another 2, this would also give me more, yeah, we're good, dude, let's build, let's build one of those, let's build one of these. Ooh, actually. Ooh, actually. No, I don't really need that here, do I? No, I don't. I don't recruit units here. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go down. Potter's Workshop it is. We need that freaking money. Alright, so, uh, I hate you, Arberni. I could actually kill your fleet in the process here. If I do that, it's a little... You know what? What is this? I'm gonna kill your fleet in the process, because fuck your fleet. Right. And then I'm just gonna kill you. Fleet's a little banged up, but that's alright. Lost two Bloodsworn, but that's alright. I'm gonna go ahead and sail you back over here just to replenish. Well, that'll be cool enough for me. Units, sure. Ready for orders. Your orders? Your orders? Fleet Let's get ready. some more slinger ships over here. That'd be kind of nice. All father be praised. How can I help? Okay. So you're here. You can go to about there. For the tribe. I like ambush get around moving. here somewhere. I'm gonna ambush stance. And over here, I, I am also just gonna put my person Mons. into ambush stance so they're hidden from everybody. I want to see who shows up. Public order, not too good. <laughs> not that good. Looking pretty rough. Um, yeah. So. Mm. 
And these guys are gonna try and show up at my doorstep. I need one, like, full fleet. Just so it's strong enough to fight. And not have to worry about, like, replenishing. Because right now, these half stacks, as good as they are, the problem is, like... I do an auto-resolve because, as we have seen in the last episode, fucking naval battles are ridiculous. Fucking orders just don't work, but, you know, despite that, right, we have... Oh, why would you do that, Gaul? Thank you for the free army. Uh, but yeah, so, what ends up happening is, I end up having my guys just, they fight and lose half their fucking fleet. Ooh, Celtic rebels. Nice. They just rebelled, so now our Verney has no way to freaking land and attack us. They have to come around this way. Actually, that kind of sucks, because now they have to either go this way, or they leave the water and go that way, which means my fleet has to be farther away. But, uh, fuck your transports. Um, they suck. I'm gonna kill you. But, like, see, like, look at this. I gotta auto I auto resolve it, right? And you know, I lose half my fleet doing this. Actually I didn't lose anybody there, but I lose technically half my fleet, right? Half my fleet is dead. That's essentially what happens, right? Half my fleet dies, and I have to come back over here and replenish for like three or four turns and all well, this other stuff. It's just so extra. Assembling the fleet. But if I have like a full fleet, like a full 20 stack, you know, if, if like two or three guys get, you know, beat up, then, you know, whatever, right? Like that's, that's fine. It doesn't matter. The shadows are yeah, right here. Yeah, you know, like it doesn't, it just doesn't matter. I can just keep going. So, I'm just trying not to worry about having to fucking sit here and replenish every like five turns so i know they have the ability to do the night battles too because they're a germanic tribe so i really fucking hope they don't do that to me and i really hope there's nobody else around i mean i'm not really too concerned about holding this town but i definitely want to get here and what i might end up doing is just shipping my king off over here and bringing him over there and just recruiting a few dudes just hanging out. But yeah, like this turn, I have to sit here for four turns. You know, and there's just, there's just so many armies showing up. I need to have, you know, a big enough fleet to, you know, auto-resolve one or two fights in one turn and still be able to get back into the fight the next turn. Because as you can see, we have, you know, armies lining up on the border and just showing up like every turn. Also, I wanted to siege those guys out at Cherusi. I just wanted to siege the Cherusi out a little bit. Okay, the Rugi are right there. And they just disappeared there. So they disappeared there, which means there's probably somewhere over here. Moving unseen. Oh, they're right there in town. Okay. To work, then. Kill your food. Uh, the Rugi are here. Um, if they force march around us... They'll be stuck right there. Which means we have plenty of time. As you request. Hmm. You know what? Do I fight this myself? I have two ballistas. And I've got 16 wolf warriors and 8 Wodenaz spears. Four slingers, four archers, a lot of stuff. I, mean, I 100% could win this. But you know what? I don't want game settings. I'm going to tick this up to no limit because I want to actually fight this battle myself. I'm doing it. I'm gonna, for the sake of entertainment, I will suffer the casualties. <laughs> For the sake of entertaining you guys, I will suffer the casualties of losing a shitload of guys for no reason. Let's do it. We even got eight ladders. We even have eight ladders to do it. And they don't have any ballista to fire back. Alright, folks. We're in position. Now, what I'm gonna do is 
Germanic units, their slingers, actually have some of the best shields in the game, so I'm gonna put these guys up here. Just to fire at will. I don't really care what they're doing. But they're just gonna soak ammo, right, as we get up here. Actually, where they'll just dump the shit out of anything on the wall and not do any damage, but... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna land here. Or we're gonna march some dudes up in here, we're gonna land something there, try and cap the tower. But I am 100% going to have the slingers stand in front of the archers because the slingers have better shields. What we're going to do is we're going to attack that. Attack that. Attack there. Attack there. Attack there. And I'm just going to drop that. And send these two Wodenaz in first. I'm going to have you auto fire over there, you auto fire here. Get in the fight. Let's go, boys. It's gonna get really, really bloody really fast. Fearless warriors! Ready for battle! Uh, Kimbreeze. Dump it. Get in there, boys. Target where I'm not hitting my own dudes. Get some more wolf warriors in here. Just keep flooding in, baby. Keep flooding in. I am probably going to turn my peel off so I don't absolutely delete my dudes. Ammunition. Out of ammo with 184 kills, not too shabby. Oh, they got some damn Kimbri bow women all the way back there. They got at a great position on us. We have a better position. That's a hex bearer. El delete. So, Slingers, you've done your job over here. Now come down here. <laughs> come down here, gentlemen. Kimberly Bow Women, come over here. Let's go, gents. The fight rage is on. We got fresh reinforcements coming in. Bow women, just delete that. This Woden is gonna die. Oh, Woden get out. Please don't die. Some decent kills. Warriors ready. Warriors. Orders. Gonna get the cav gens in here. Warriors. Oh yeah, we fucking them up. Oh you. Get out of the fight. We're just gonna have to group up. We're gonna have to blob up a little bit. Stop firing at will. Get inside the settlement. You kill that. Crush those. Alright, we're breaking them. 
stop firing. We can have you guys move. We have an entire fresh reinforcement line ready to make their way in here. You guys take that. Okay. Wodenaz, get over here. You guys go cap that tower. Uh, two cavgens come over here as well. you guys in here. Let's get the slingers in here. Let's just get everybody in here. Really don't want to deal with that tower, bro. But I'm going to have to deal with it. Just, uh, probably not with my Wodenaz, though. They're pretty banged up. Wodenaz, you guys have earned yourselves a nice, relaxing day off. We have captured a tower. Um, everybody who is yellow and it's really low green, you are not going up there. You guys are just gonna chill down here. Uh, my ones, you guys come back. Uh, my Cav General. Let's come kill these dudes. Yeah, run them down. Run them all down. Who cares about the art? Who cares about the, uh... That's a spear levy. Let's go around that. And then charge it. Yeah, charge it. It's running away. Broke them. All right, what's up there? That's a Wodenaz spear. Is the final unit. Let's go ahead and drag these guys out. We have captured all the towers, dude. Well, we didn't capture that one, but bros, we did it. Town is ours. It's gonna go up there and kill the damn general. Warriors. And what I'm gonna do is probably gonna hurt really bad, but I'm gonna go capture this. Go ahead and actually, you know what? Fuck that. I'm just gonna kill the damn general. Go bows, get up there. Do -do 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 -do. We're definitely gonna take some losses. The enemy's hidden units. One hundred percent. Oh, you go kill that shit. Get the fuck out of here with that. You're shooting my damn, shooting my damn wolf warriors in the back, literally killing like fucking thirty dudes. Longbow hunters that should have broken like seven years ago. Peeling the fuck out of my guy. You know what? Fuck you. Charge. No more archers. General, get over here. Going too far. Getting too crazy with it. Like, that absolutely shredded my fucking wolf warrior, dude. I lost literally two thirds of my unit to fucking Pila. That is. That is going to be our biggest problem, is trying to fight skirmishing units or anything that shoots us and just break them that's probably the best thing to do i was just gonna shoot them but whatever you guys can actually throw up there no you can't the sworn you could have done that that took 20 minutes yeah we got pretty banged up we're gonna we're gonna rest up here for a minute lost 1100 we lost 1100 but they only killed 800. So that means that there was about 300 either friendly fire 
It was either 300 of friendly fire or towers. This is now ours. We didn't lose anybody too terribly wrong here. I could sack the settlement for 5,800. I could loot it for 11,000. Uh, no, I don't need the money. It's tempting, but I don't need the money. My Imperium rises, but as my Imperium rises, I start to lose. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, as you as your Imperium rises, the loyalty drops drastically. So at level five, there is no bonus. Oh yeah, that's what I remember. The bigger you get, the less loyal they become. That's that was the trade-off. Um, I'm gonna delete that. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna delete that too. Actually. Yeah, maybe. Definitely gonna delete that. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab this. I might grab a... I wanna grab a temple for sure. Just so I can have some public order. And then I might grab a... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna delete it. As you request. This army is Gucci. We're gonna replenish in two turns. Can I finish my um, how old are my generals? Because that will determine whether or not I build a certain building. Um, you are 69, Giggity King. Uh, you are 55. You're still good. You're 45. No, no. Okay, so they're 51 and 55. These two might live a little longer. This guy's probably gonna die. My king about to fucking oh, kick the bucket I over there. Help. I am ready. Um, what I could do is. We love the open road. Find some fucking trees over here. So I'm just gonna sit myself down right there. Right. Elites are replenishing, and I am going to merge you two together. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Here we go. That is two sixteen stacks, two three quarter stack fleets. That should be good to just be what we have for the rest of the campaign. Because I personally don't want to keep building these damn things. It takes a lot of resources that I'm going to need in military, like armies and shit. Um. I need a public order building, so I'm gonna build a temple. I'm building one public order building. I wanna, I want a library, so that's gonna be one, another one. It's gonna be two. I want a defensive building, like a well, economic as well. So I want like a workshop. So that's gonna be another. Yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna get rid of those. We have made landfall. We are chilling, baby. We're in it to win it. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, ah, uh, you made this super easy on yourself by going to Britannia and capturing Britannia for yourself and then landing in the fucking Germania and all that. And I, I gotta say, two things to that. One, of course I made it easier on myself. Why would I not take the opportunity presented to myself to, to win a campaign, right? Like, if, if the AI is going to just fuck around over here and I have the opportunity to get there, you know, I'm gonna get there, right? I'm going to take the opportunity to win. If the AI presents it and is giving me the opportunity to win, I'm going to fucking do it to win. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you guys doubt it, I definitely 100% could have stayed here and, you know, fought the fucking battles and did all that. But uh, I've done legendary Total War campaigns before, like this is Total War campaigns. And usually what happens, if I was down south somewhere, obviously I would have no choice. But I have seen what happens when I have no other choice but to stay here in my starting province and do all that, right? What ends up happening is I would spend the first five episodes or more just sitting in the same two or three settlements fighting battle after battle after battle. I would fight two or three battles in one episode and that would be the entire episode. That shit gets boring real fast. And to have five or six episodes of that, knowing it's gonna happen, 
kind of makes me want to take the take the route of visual progress. You know what I'm saying? So, just in case y'all were wondering, like, oh, hey, why'd you sail up here and make it so easy on yourself? Well, we have visual progress. But 100%, I could have stayed here and, you know, done the regular expand out and fight. The plan would have been to go this way and secure this little corner and then expand back out. But, you know, that would have taken, like, ten episodes to get to that point. Unless I did kind of like a summary thing, like a recap of what we did where I just sat here for, you know, 20 turns, but it would have been a little different because there would have been battles and stuff. Maybe I'll do something like that in the future. Where I'll just, uh, I'm actually going to fight this army over here. I don't know what's in it, but I don't care. Oh, I can't even fight him. I can't even reach. You son of a bitch. I actually wanted to send that army this way, but they don't seem to be bothering me here. But I do want to take that, because I want this. They did send both of their armies over here to take out that, that one fleet, so... Go ahead and position myself in a prime spot with my two fleets. Yes! But uh, maybe I'll do that in a future campaign, right? Where, you know, I'm sitting in my provinces or I'm fighting or whatever it is, right? And maybe I'll just, you know, if there's a battle where it's a bunch of chaff units, like for example here, where I've got, you know, Blood Sworn, Wolf Warriors, you know, mid to late game units, and I'm fighting stacks of armies that are nothing but like Spear Levy and Club Levy. Maybe I'll decide, like, okay, let me just fight this battle manually because I have to fight it, right? But I'll just do, like, a little recap or just show, like, the end battle screen or something like that. Just to be like, yeah, this battle happened, this battle happened. Because it does get a little boring sometimes when I have to fight a certain battle because of the balance of power. Or I just don't want to take as many losses as the auto-resolve will give me. But it's a battle where I'm just fighting fucking garbage. And, you know, it's just stuff like that. Like, if I'm if I'm fighting an army, like, for example, this army. This is an army of garbage, right? What I could do is I could fight this battle, kill this army, and I could just show you the screen before the battle to see the army comes, and then show you the end screen where I killed them. And just see the battle results. Just see the results of the battle, right? And that's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Chaff army killed. Moved on, took like, you know, 10 seconds to show you this, the screens, and we can get on to bigger and better things. Because I'll tell you what, with these This Is Total War campaigns, there are a ton of battles where I am fighting garbage shit stacks purely because the AI has nothing other than those units, and they just want to throw them at me, and the auto resolve wants to favor them for it, so. There is no shit dick way in hell you're gonna beat me with that. What if I night attack? If I night attack, really? Taking away two archer units and a Wodenaz spear really makes it that much of a difference? Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm not gonna cut this one out because uh, you know I want you guys to watch this. But because we've been we've been lacking on the battles, right? It's we've been lacking a little bit on a lot of the battles, so I figured I'd. Let you guys have some, you know, figured I'd show more. But moving forward, if there are battles like this where I've got mid to late game armies and I'm fighting actual garbage stacks of just, you know, garrison type troops where it's, I don't know, maybe like Celtic Warriors and Levy Freeman spam or, or freaking Iberian Sword spam or just, you know, just basic starter units being spammed out by the AI. If it's armies like that, maybe I'll just skip the battle, right? Just so we can keep moving on. If it's a battle I have to manually fight, that is. If it's a battle I can auto-resolve, then I'm just gonna auto-resolve it and move on. But if it's making me fight it because the battle, or the auto-resolve is being a little shitbag, then, you know, that is what it is, right? But hopefully we don't have that happen, because I don't want to have battles that I could very easily win, and I have to deal with the AI being a fucking shitbag. Oh, he's gonna run out towards me. Yes! 
We shall not dishonor the gods by failing them. Yeah, <laughs> baby. 40 kills in the first strike. I love it when they funnel out. Can I actually long shot this shit and just pew, fire at myself? How oh, flaming round would be so good right now. The flaming round takes too long to reload. Dumping shots. All right, I'm gonna have you fire at the general. Run into range of my Pila, you goofy boy. What the hell? Warriors. As you say. Ready for battle. On the stint. Scrappers, ready, ready. All right, time for the battles to descend into chaos. Hidden units. Ready for riders. At your service. Double time. Ready. Warriors, ready. Warriors. Slingers. Fire on them. Uh oh, we opened up a little bit here. Fight there. Charge you in there. Charge you in there. Both you guys blast the fucking shit out of that. Nice. These guys are getting blown up. The battle is turning in our favor. Spears ready. Warriors. Kill, kill, kill. Ballista. Ballista still unloading on the general over there. 400 kills. Jeez, get completely rolled. All right, skirmishers, please stop firing. Go throw Pila at that guy. Now I'm gonna charge that Wodenaz with my general. Actually, I'm just gonna end the battle. Actually, cleaned up the <laughs> the little automatic cleanup thing did pretty well for me actually. I think I did a. This is Total War campaign for Pergamon at one point. And dude, I was fighting Eastern Spearmen out the ass, dude. Just stacks of Eastern Spearmen, and for some reason, the auto resolve was just favoring them every time. And I had to sit there and fight that shit. And it was like every turn. Because I had controlled most of. I controlled like Egypt, some of Syria, and like all of Asia Minor. But, you know, it just, it got so fucking annoying. So, some of the battles I just had to skip. Like, hey, I did, you know, I did like... And I, I, don't, I don't know, I think I removed my Pergamon campaign from the channel just because, uh... Well, I was doing some cleaning of my hard drives and I accidentally fucking deleted it. Or I deleted, like... I, I like to pre-record some of my episodes, right? So, I'll have maybe... I'll be like five or six episodes into my campaign, like ahead of you guys, just because it's, you know, it's how I like to roll. Because I can't just play one, I can't just record an hour and then like leave for like two or three days. Because then I come back to the campaign and I have no fucking idea what's going on. I'll record like three or four sessions at a time. And I had recorded for like two days, I recorded like nine episodes or some shit. And I was cleaning out my hard drives, and I fucking deleted nine episodes. And it was such a drastic change that I just, I couldn't, I couldn't revert back. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to remove this campaign. Plus, I had a lot of mods on that kind of made it a little unfair, so. Fucking 
whatever. It's it's fine. It never existed. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, this army has sword masters in it. It has three sword masters to be specific. Um, it's four spear walls. So uh, I'm gonna chicken out and fucking auto resolve this because those sword masters will kick my ass on this difficulty. I don't have any myself. So fuck their sword masters. You have further orders. I'm gonna go ahead and kill them. Get out of here, chicken shit. Alright. I like releasing the captives sometimes. It gives me good money. And we're replenishing two turns. That is... Dang indeed. Um, Alright, I'm gonna recruit another general. Uh, do they have another politician? I might actually grab a politician from them because they need one. <laughs> or just get married. There we go. You're 28 years old, married to some 48-year-old woman. Ugh. You're disgusting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's some cougar shit right there, dude. You got grabbed. Alright, um, how cool is he? Is he a shithead? Oh, he doesn't have any traits yet. Mercenary hiring costs, morale. We'll just get some basic stuff. He is a little ambitious. She's not very ambitious. He's very ambitious. He's over. He's much more ambitious than he is, or than she is. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna recruit a general here. It's gonna be that dude. He's actually a freaking stacked general. Holy shit! The tree breakers. Um, you're gonna be a sword master, and I'm gonna grab some. Ooh, wait a minute. Uh, I'm gonna wait a turn before I delete that. I am going to grab. Dude, I can grab a fucking onager, dude. It has more missile damage, but way less range. Actually has shots per minute, poison shot. That's lame. Uh, I also have German scorpions here. A scorpion, yay! Let me grab two of those and two of those. Let me grab two ballistas, two scorpions, and then maybe I'll grab, like... Know, maybe some spear wall, just because they have 100 melee defense. They'll just hold forever. Uh, I'm gonna grab... Four slingers, which is going to be about 400. That's going to be about 400 right there. Um, I'm going to need some actual infantry, though. We'll see how much. We'll see what our income looks like after that. But I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. Oh, somebody needs to upgrade. Upgrade somebody. You? You. Cool, dude. What's up? Uh, steal some more food. Why not? Because we need to starve them. Oh, dude, they are so in the fucking negative right now. Negative 12 and negative 9. How do you have enough food to survive right now, bro? There is no way you've got 22 food in your capital city right now. <sighs> There's just no way. You're bullshitting. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my full stack army that's right here. I'm gonna bring it down into uh, Bavay there. Ooh, yep, and that's why. That is why. Mm hmm. Alright, well, I don't need this anymore. Or actually, I do, because I need to recruit the slingers. Oh, boy, what is in here? They've got four naked warriors, a noble horse, an oath sworn. Four naked warriors, okay. Well, I might move out and face them, I don't know. But that will do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.